This episode is brought to you by Curiosity Stream. Hi, I'm Diana, and you're watching Physics Girl. There's something I've been wanting to show you for like a couple days. My last video had liquid oxygen, and it hovered between two electromagnets, and that kind of stole the show. And whoever you were in the comments that questioned my choice of physics classes because I had never seen liquid oxygen, and I get excited by freshman level physics demonstrations, who killed your joy? Anyway, the real hero of my easily amused, physics-loving heart, was the tiny spark that forms when you turn off the electricity to the electromagnets. Because Josh, the gentleman from the MIT Technical Services group showing me these demos, promised a demo with an even bigger spark. We actually have one that will do a huge back EMF when you lift it. Oh. We can just wheel that one out. He did not disappoint. Side note, pyrotechnics is sometimes a side effect of demos meant for this pesky thing called learning. So we'll get that out of the way real quick. This demo had two giant coils of wire with another wire laid over the top. When you flip the switch to allow electricity to run through the coils, the wire on top jumps off. Meh, it's kind of wondrous. It shows induction, which is a really counterintuitive and awesome phenomenon in physics, so that's cool. Induction happens when a changing electrical current induces a current in a nearby wire. Induction is like the bad influence kid of physics. It induces you to have a current too, but there can only be one bad kid, so it pushes you apart. That made no sense. It's really just because of the magnetic fields produced by the currents that push them apart, but ah, learning. Now when we turn off the current, things get real saucy. Okay, that jumped off and then, ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. That spark is from turning off the current. This demo is the universe telling you it is not happy with change. Sesame Street must be in my life forever! But really, inductors don't like it when you turn off their current. What? Oh right, what's an inductor? Those giant coils of wire or this thing on a circuit diagram, or these things if you do electronics. But basically, an inductor is just a slinky connected to electricity, and it doesn't like it if you turn off the electricity running through it. You can think of it like momentum. The electricity has some oomph as it's going through the inductor, so as you open the switch to turn off the power, the current doesn't just stop. It keeps flowing toward the switch, building up charge until you get a huge voltage across the switch, and at some point the voltage will be so high it can jump across air, or in our case, across the small part of the switch that's still partially touching, so you get a ton of current running through a tiny piece of metal, and it gets really hot really fast. This aspect of induction used to be used in some car ignitions because you'd need a really high voltage. So once you opened a switch connected to an inductor, you got a really high voltage that could turn on the ignition. Induction was also used to create the earrings that I'm wearing, which are shrunken dimes. We used a giant electromagnet to shrink coins. I made a video explaining how that works, so check it out. Why the electricity doesn't like to turn off? That's an interesting question, and I find it really intuitively difficult to understand. Because it's a result of Faraday's law of induction, which says that if you change the magnetic flux, and I love the idea of flux because it's the amount of something through an area. So in our case, it's the amount of magnetic field through the area of the coil. And we're changing that by turning off the electricity. The electricity is what's creating the magnetic field, and when you turn off the electricity, the magnetic field shrinks which means the magnetic flux goes down. Now this change in magnetic flux causes an electromotive force, which acts like a voltage. And that pushes back against the change in current that changed the magnetic flux. But what does this all mean? The math is there, but what does it mean? Now, the best way I can find to understand it is that it's kind of like a conservation of energy. When you run current through the inductor, it builds up a magnetic field, and it took energy to create that magnetic field. So the magnetic field is storing energy. When you turn off the current, the energy can't just disappear. It has to go somewhere. Energy conservation, brew. Yeah, that energy doesn't just disappear, so it goes into a flowing current that ends up raising the voltage. I went down the rabbit hole of trying to understand induction intuitively, and I got to special relativity, the way that magnetic fields relate to electric fields, and let me tell you, that's fascinating, but it's beyond the scope of this video. Here's another metaphor. This is all kind of like how a water hammer works. If you've ever turned off a valve in your house really fast, you hear this like, boom, this knocking. That's called a water hammer, and it happens because you've got 
water flowing through the pipe, and as soon as you shut the valve, you're blocking the flow, but it's still going. It's got that actual momentum, and it'll smack into the valve, and you get kind of this sloshing of momentum back and forth. But to me, the interesting stuff is what's actually happening. And that is the fact that inductors have stored energy and that energy has to go somewhere when you turn off the electricity. Inductors protest. It's not just the hashtag resist doors that protest. I had a lot of fun trying to really understand how to explain induction. I hope you enjoyed at least the pyrotechnics. Thank you so much to MIT Technical Services Group for showing me these demos and all your help. Thank you guys for watching and happy physics-ing. This episode is brought to you by Curiosity Stream, a subscription streaming service that offers documentaries and nonfiction titles from some of the world's best filmmakers, including exclusive originals. I recommend checking out the film Digits with host Derek Muller about the information age. Get unlimited access starting at $2.99 a month, and our audience will get the first two months free if you sign up at curiositystream.com slash physicsgirl and use the promo code physicsgirl during the sign up process.